Hey guys, what's up? Of course, welcome back to your girl cooking with Tammy. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious loaded chicken burrito. So with all of that being said, let's introduce these ingredients and get to cooking. First thing on up is we have our chicken breast that's been washed, cleaned, and pat dried. We also have our rice. Of course, if you wanna use any type of preferred rice, feel free to do so. If you wanna use brown rice as a substitute, that's cool as well. We also have our Mexican cheese, along with our fresh cilantro, jalapenos, limes, red onions, tomatoes, along with, let's see what we have in the background. We have some black beans, and for our seasonings, we have the adobo seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, taco seasoning, paprika, ground cumin, ground oregano, salt, ground black pepper, along with oil. We also have salsa, cheese, and in the background hiding out, we have our guacamole. Last but not least, we have our tortilla. Can't have a burrito without that tortilla shell. So with all of that being said, let's get to cooking. Time to season our chicken breast up. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it off with a little oil, small drizzle of course, use avocado, use olive oil. Either way, it's gonna work perfectly. We're gonna get in there, we're gonna massage the oil on the chicken. Let's get the back as well. Front and back. All right. And we're gonna hit it off with a little adobo. Adobo is gonna give it that nice flavor, all right. Add enough. We're also going to add our onion powder. Garlic powder. Taco seasoning. Uh-huh. We're going to have fun with seasoning up this chicken tonight. Yes, we are. We're also going to add our paprika. This is not smoke, this is just regular because we want that nice color. We're also gonna use our ground cumin. When it comes to the ground cumin, it's very pungent, so use a light hand or a small amount. And we're also gonna add our ground oregano. If you don't have ground oregano, not a problem. No fuss, no fight, no worry. Just use dried oregano leaves. It's gonna work out perfectly fine. And last but not least, we're gonna add some chicken bouillon for that nice chickeny flavor. Chickeny, yes I said it, chickeny. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get in there, we're gonna pat it all in there. Mix it up really good. Add a little bit more oil. Make sure it's stuck and stick and stick and stuck. This chicken is gonna be perfectly seasoned, you heard me. Just like that, gonna flip it on over. And guess what? We're gonna repeat the same process on the other side as well. Hit it off with the adobo. Boom, boom, boom. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Taco seasoning. Paprika, ground cumin, ground oregano, chicken bouillon, and that's going to be our sodium right there, the chicken bouillon and the adobo. So we're not going to add any salt. And you know what? I want to add a little bit of ground black pepper as well. So we are going to add that. Chicken is ready. So go. So we're gonna put it off to the side for a moment. Our water has come to a rolling boil, so it's about that time. We're gonna add a little pinch of salt to the water, give it some flavor, just a little bit of oil. And we're gonna add our rice. Remember the measurements. Two cups of water to one cup of rice. Give it a good mix. halfway cover it on down because guess what if you do this right here is a possibility once everything starts to come to a rolling boil once again it's gonna bubble on over and make such a mess so the best thing is open it up halfway and you'll be good to go allow it to sit here and do its thing in the meanwhile we got some veggies to chop up because we got to make some guess what pico de gallo we're gonna 
take the stems off, place it to the side, and we need to focus solely on the cilantro leaves. All right, boil it on up and get to chopping. Get in there some more, chop it up really finely. And this cilantro right here is gonna work not only for our rice, but we're also gonna be using it for our pico as well. All right, that's perfect. We are gonna work on dicing up these onions. For my pico de gallo, I love to use red onions. Yes, I do. This is a perfect size right here. All right, time to get in there, get that tomato. And by the way, guys, not because you don't see me washing off these veggies mean that they're not pre-washed. I want you guys to get into the habit. If you're not doing it already, if you're doing it already, then hey, you're doing your thing. Wash all of your veggies. Wash them off really good. I don't care if you got to wash it off in salt water to kill whatever, or even, let's say, some apple cider vinegar with water. Do your thing, but wash your veggies. Get all those pesticides and stuff off of the veggies. Alrighty. Let's dice these tomatoes one up. I like to use Romo tomatoes, but feel free to use whatever type of tomatoes you prefer. This right here is a good portion size. If I need more tomatoes in the end, of course, I'm going to get in there and chop some more up. Alright. It's about that time. It's time to bring in the hot boy. All right, we are gonna be chopping up this jalapeno right here. Yes, we are. And you know what, let me put it right here. These seeds right here and the membrane is what contains all of the heat. So guess what? If we get in there and we remove it, we're gonna have heat, yes, but we're not gonna have as much. All right, using a gloved hand, remove it using gloves, some type of protection. Take out as many seeds as you want and get that membrane one out of the air. Okay, perfect. Gonna get that lime, we're gonna literally just bust it in half, just like that. We're in business. Pico de gallo is done. We're gonna add everything to a bowl and we're gonna incorporate it and we're gonna Put it together. One, two, three. First thing we're gonna add to this bowl is our tomatoes, tomatoes, <laughs> followed by our red onions, cilantro, and our jalapenos. The remaining half of the tomato, I ended up chopping it up and placing it in here as well. Check out the color contrast. How beautiful is that? Absolutely gorgeous. Place that lime up in there and get to squeezing. We're gonna hit it off with a pinch of salt. Give it a good mix. Nothing better than fresh pico de gallo. Mm -hmm. And we are done, all right? Gonna place this to the side as well. Our rice is finished, we have some excess water, so we're just gonna basically spread it on off, just like that. Remember, we need our rice to be dry because we're going to add it to our tortilla at the end. And if it's wet, guess what? The tortilla is going to be soggy. Make sure your rice looks just like this. To this rice, we are going to add the cilantro right here. If you don't like cilantro, guys, you're missing out big time. All right, we're going to add a fresh squeeze of lemon juice. What am I talking about? We're going to add a fresh squeeze of lime juice. Just like that. We're gonna get in there with our spatula. We're gonna incorporate everything. Make sure everything is perfectly mixed on in there. Mix it on in there, mix it on in there. Let's get it. Now here's the thing, we added the salt already to the water when we were like literally getting ready to boil the rice. So there is no need to add any more salt. We're done. All right, cast iron skillet is nice and hot and we are ready to go. We're gonna add our chicken breast to the pan. Allow it to stir on up, and that's it. 
according to the size of the chicken breast that I'm going to be searing up, I'm going to allow it to sear for about two minutes on each side. However, if you're going to be using a thicker slice of chicken breast, then obviously you're going to increase the cooking time and vice versa. If you're using a thinner slice, of course, you're going to reduce the searing time as well. But just be mindful, make sure the chicken is cooked all the way through. And as you can see, the heat is not coming in contact with this part of the chicken. So I'm going to get in there with my fork and place the chicken upright and allow it to cook on all sides. A perfectly seasoned chicken is not only finished, but it smells absolutely delicious. So we're going to take it on out and place it right here onto this cutting board. Even though our chicken is looking ready to go, we're not going to slice into the chicken just yet. It's really important to allow some resting time only because we want to keep the chicken nice and moist and keep those flavors nice and locked in. Alrighty, it's about that time. Check out our beautiful chicken breast. I'm going to stack it on top of each other. Check out all of that juice. Mm -hmm. We're just going to get in there. We're just going to cut it. Check out the meat, nice and tender. Mm -hmm. mm. Trust me, I wish you guys could taste it on the spot. But you're going to make this recipe and you're going to definitely get to taste it at that point in time, all right? Anyway, we are going to heat our tortilla up. And I'm going to show you how to put this delicious loaded chicken burrito together. All right, guys, our pan is nice and hot, all right? So we're going to hit it with some oil because we don't want our tortilla sticking to the pan, all right? And once it's nice and hot, we are going to add it just like that. And we're going to heat it one up. All right, it's nice and hot. We're going to get in there, flip it on over. Perfect. Perfect. First thing we're going to add is our rice. Add it to the middle, but not directly in the middle. All right, just like that. We're not gonna be stingy with the chicken. Mm -mm. We're gonna add some beans. Along with some pico. Some guac. And of course, we're gonna add some salsa melted cheese mm -hmm. some sour cream and we're gonna add we're gonna top it off with some Mexican style cheese as well we're gonna get in there we're gonna hold it just like that we're gonna bring this one over all right take your hands bring it down and we're gonna get to wrapping Make sure all the sides are secured and locked. All right? And we're gonna wrap it just like that. And our burrito is done. Boom. Perfect. Now, for the fun part, we're gonna cut into it to see what it looks like. Yes, we are. Now, here's the thing, guys. One or two things. If you wanna like literally put it back in your pan to seal the sides. You can definitely do that as well. As a matter of fact, let's do that together. Pan is still nice and hot. Add it just like that. Flip it on over on the other side as well. Toast it on up. Make sure everything is nice and melted and nice and hot toasted on up. I, if there's one thing I love is a toasted burrito. Yes, your girl loves toasted burritos. I prefer it over regular burritos. I really do. I gotta be honest. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> and it's about that time. Who's ready to cut into this burrito? I know I certainly am. 
And guys, our delicious loaded chicken burrito is done. All right, absolutely gorgeous, quick and easy to put together. In this video, I showed you every step necessary in order to complete this delicious recipe. All right, guys, definitely give this recipe a try. Let your girl know how everything turned out. And as always, I will definitely catch you guys in another video. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.